Today we are going to talk about the anointing of the sick. Anointing of the sick is a sacrament instituted by Christ to give spiritual aid and strength to Christians who are seriously ill. In the Old Testament we see they prayed to God during their illness. It is God who heals them. When we come to the gospel we see the gospel of St Mark chapter 6 verse 13 The apostles anointed with oil many that are sick and healed them In the gospel we see that Jesus restores bodily health more often In fact many miracles Jesus performed was the healing of the sick In the letter of St James we see Is anyone among you sick let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him anoint him with oil in the name of the lord and the prayer of faith will save the sick man and the lord will raise him up and if he committed sins he will be forgiven james chapter 5 verses 14 and 15 About the anointing of the sick council of trent says like this this sacred anointing of the sick was instituted by christ our lord as a true and proper sacrament of the new testament it is alluded to indeed by mark but is recommended to the faithful and promulgated by james the apostle and brother of the lord now let us see What is the necessity of this sacrament? When a person is sick, he or she undergoes a great trial. There will be great temptations like doubting God's goodness and power or even his existence. We see in the book of Job, Job's wife expected her husband to give into despair and curse God. Sacramental anointing gives us grace to face such trials and temptations. It is strongly believed that the oil has the power to heal and strengthen. For us Christians, anointing with the oil heals us and strengthens us spiritually. It helps us to slip away from the devil's grasp and endure our contest with him. What the can second teaches us about the anointing of the sick like this By the sacred anointing of the sick and the prayer of the priest the whole church commends those who are ill to the suffering and glorified Lord that he may raise them up and save them And indeed she exhorts them to contribute to the good of the people of God by freely uniting themselves to the passion and death of Christ now let us see who are able to receive this sacrament and who can administer this sacrament it is not a sacrament for those only who are at the point of death hence as soon as any one of the faithful begins to be in danger of death from sickness or old age The fitting time for him to receive this sacrament has certainly arrived. Catechism of the Catholic Church teaches us if a sick person who received this anointing recovers his health he can in the case of another grave illness receive this sacrament again. It is fitting to receive the anointing of the sick just prior to a serious operation. Only priests are the ministers of the anointing of the sick. However, this sacrament is a communal celebration. The celebration of the sacrament includes the following principal elements. The priest of the church in silence lay hands on the sick. They pray over them in the faith of the church. This is the epiclesis proper to this sacrament. they then anoint them with oil blessed the celebration of the anointing of the sick consists 
essentially in the anointing of the forehead and hands of the sick person the anointing being accompanied by the liturgical prayer of the celebrant asking for the special grace of this sacrament now what are the effects of this sacrament first the uniting of the sick person to the passion of christ for his own good and that of the whole church second the strengthening peace and courage to endure in a christian manner the sufferings of illness or old age third the forgiveness of sins if the sick person was not able to obtain it through the sacrament of penance fourth the restoration of health if it is conducive to the salvation of his soul fifth the preparation for passing over to eternal life now let us see what is viaticum the last sacrament of a christian in addition to the anointing of the sick the church offers those who are about to leave this life the eucharist as viaticum communion in the body and blood of christ received at this moment of passing over to the father has a particular significance and importance it is the seed of eternal life and the power of resurrection according to the words of the lord he who eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life and i will raise him up at the last day gospel of john chapter 6 verse 54 penance anointing of the sick and the eucharist as viaticum constitute the end of christian life the sacraments that prepare for our heavenly homeland or the sacraments that complete the earthly pilgrimage may god bless you all amen